Good morning, students. Good afternoon, Mr. P. What's up for today? Mr. P, I have gotten such great reports about your class, and I wanted to sit in and experience it for myself. Because, you know, I can learn a thing or two myself. Very well, Mrs. Kingsley. Our subject today is May Carol Jamison. May Carol Jamison was an African-American astronaut, the first African-American female in space. May Carol was born in Alabama in 1956, and at the age of three, her family moved to Chicago. May Carol, always known as a stubborn and determined child, recounts an elementary school teacher asking her what she wanted to be when she grew up. When she replied, a scientist, the teacher said, you mean a nurse. Surely you do mean a nurse. Rude. So rude. That's not right. See, that's why when someone doesn't believe in you, you have to believe in yourself. You're right, Jabril. But she also met with similar opinions while attending Stanford University. She was 16 then. The professors there bucked at a female, a black female, being in the science program and would literally, literally ignore her during class. Aww. Well, in spite of all of the obstacles, Mary Carol Jamison went on to obtain her medical degree from Cornell University. She joined the Peace Corps and practiced medicine in places like Cuba, Kenya, Liberia, Sierra Leone, and Thailand. Jameson, in 1987, was accepted into the NASA space program. She was soon selected as a mission specialist for the space shuttle Endeavour, and on September 12, 1992, was the first black female to travel into space. Jameson was a bit of a Renaissance woman. She loved dance and was an accomplished dancer. Whoa! There she goes! <laughs> like I was saying, Jameson is a Renaissance woman. She loved dance and was an accomplished performer. Man, she did it all. Science, the arts, she was on point, Mr. P. You're right, Jordan. And because of her love of the arts, she built a dance studio in Chicago, and she choreographed and produced several shows of modern and African dance. Oh, goodness, Mr. P. And children, this was truly something to behold. It just goes to show you, you're never too old to learn, eh? <laughs> Hi, I'm Dee Dee Polite. I hope you and your children are enjoying the Black History Vignettes. Leave some comments. Hit me up on Twitter at The Voiceman and on Facebook at Dee Polite. That's The Voiceman and 